War, famine, asteroid, sharknado. There are a lot of ways our civilization could be taken out, and a global virus or another sharknado sequel could happen at any minute. But our long evolutionary slog to enlightenment took thousands of generations, and it's still got a long way to go. So barring any unforeseen geostorm, we're going to continue heading on our collision course with the future, and the hub is here to tell you it's going to be pretty weird. A lot can happen in 50 years. From 1950 to 2000, we humans tiptoed around destruction in a worldwide cold war. We walked on the face of the moon, and we surfed the wave of the internet into the new millennium. This first half of the 21st century promises to be even crazier, with thinking vehicles, mechanical brains, and renewable resources to save our real world, and artificial intelligence to control our virtual world. The future is no longer something that will be. The future just is. And here are the 10 incredible things that will happen before 2050. And to make sure you don't miss all the new wonders that our society will have to offer, click on the subscribe button before the androids do it for you. Computerized Brains if Walt Disney's head is still frozen somewhere inside an underground vault, this would be the perfect opportunity to dust that off. Randall Cohn, a neuroscientist with funding from a wealthy Russian benefactor, is hoping to fully map the brain and all its functions by 2045. His company would then replicate all natural brain functions like lines of code in the Matrix. From there, they hope to give people the opportunity to live forever, long after their bodies have decayed. Uploading consciousness to some kind of neuroscience mainframe is the stuff of best-selling science fiction novels, but it could be attainable in the lifetimes of many people around today. Just imagine experiencing what the world is like in a thousand years. Cohn imagines that this resource of mapped brains would allow people to travel to the far reaches of space or travel to microscopic levels. People's minds could even be uploaded to cyborg replications of that person or holograms. And maybe if your great-great-grandkids are doing a school project on their family tree, they could just rent your consciousness from the brain library for two weeks. Cohn believes that even if the mapping technology isn't fully developed, they'll have created the chemicals needed to preserve brains until the technology is available to take consciousness to the next level. Eradication of Poverty the World Bank projected that around 2015, the amount of those in extreme poverty worldwide would be 700 million people. That's a huge amount of unfortunate men, women, and children, but thankfully, that's a significant decrease from 2012, where the level was at 900 million. We should note, however, that these people are earning less than the incredibly measly amount of $1.90 per day, which is the global line decided by the World Bank to get these figures. Incredibly, while the world seems like it's becoming a darker and scarier place each day. The World Bank projects that extreme poverty may be nearly eradicated by 2050. In fact, they believe that only 3% of the world population will be living under the extreme poverty line by 2030. By the time that the human population reaches 9 billion people in 2042, at the same time the world's wealthiest person is expected to become the first trillionaire, hopefully global citizens will be more successful than destitute. In order to reach the World Bank's 2030 goal, a lot of work is required from those with better off financial situations to provide a world with more opportunity, and it means that the poverty rate will need to decrease by a percentage point per year to achieve it. Gender Equality as of 2004, experts believed that pay equality would occur by 2050. Now, that timeline's been pushed back to 2058, but you never know. The topic is a part of our society's collective conversation, and perhaps it'll come sooner than 2050, which is nearly a century after JFK's signing of the Equal Pay Act. In terms of representation in the workforce, Mercer, a consulting firm, analyzed the trajectory for global gender equality and found that while it wouldn't be a universal change, we should see it happen sooner in certain parts of the world before others. Latin America will have the quickest rise, going from 2015's level of 36% equal gender representation in the workforce to 49% in 2025. Australia and New Zealand's levels will be close behind that, and the US and Canada will follow these two countries with levels of around 40%. At our current rate of change, we'll also likely see more and more gender-neutral bathrooms before the middle of the century. Although it won't be a worldwide change by that point, it should become less of a hot-button topic as society grows gradually more accepting of these social norms. Cure for HIV 
From 2012 to 2014, investments and grants in HIV research rose 82%, and that is due in no small part to the scientific community's expanding knowledge of the human immunodeficiency virus and ever-improving means to stop it. Since 1985, AMFAR has been dedicated to eradicating HIV and AIDS, and through their Countdown to a Cure program, they're confident they can develop the means necessary for a cure before 2021, and they're aiming to achieve this goal by strictly focusing their research. One of their chief studies focuses on defining the characteristics of cells carrying HIV within a group of other healthy cells to help better stop the infection. Other studies focus on determining the way a human's DNA impacts the spread of the virus, finding which populations may be more or less susceptible to the disease, and figuring out which methods are working best so they can focus their efforts on the quickest and safest treatment options. AMFAR has not yet committed to curing everyone by the end of 2020, but they believe they'll have the tools to gradually stem the virus and stop it within our lifetime. Robot Novelists Stephen King is so prolific and successful you'd think he's an android programmed to create international bestsellers. He's not. But no to Mr. King, it sounds like the perfect subject matter for his next novel. Although he'd need to spice up this premise by making the robo-novelist programmed to write the next great American novel and eliminate the competition. Okay, so we're joking, but only kind of, because Stephen King himself, along with Elon Musk and other creative and tech industry giants, appealed to the robotics community for responsible engineering in this artificial intelligence boom we're living through. Google's director of engineering has countered this by predicting that we'll get our first successfully AI-generated novel very soon. Others scoff at the possibility that robots could beat humans at the feeling game, but so far we've gotten computer-generated songs, poems, and even a take on the novel writing challenge Nano Genmo, in which programmers create applications that write creative pieces during the month of November. And we all have 2045 to look forward to, when the technological singularity occurs and AI surpasses is human intelligence. Safer Roads Many smart cars are already speeding and swerving safely on the road around us, and they've come equipped with safety features that warn drivers of nearby cars, oncoming traffic, and changing lanes. Certain models even stop short in front of obstacles, and if you're lucky, they'll even parallel park for you. By the early 2020s, most if not all major car companies will have successfully tested their self-driving car prototypes, and we should start seeing intelligent vehicles on the market soon, communicating with each other, driving you to and from work, and maybe even escorting you safely home if you've had too much to drink. Cars at that time will still require supervision from you, especially if there's a technical malfunction. But by 2035, industry analysts at the Milken Institute predict the auto industry will be entirely automated with no human intervention needed and an entire road network controlled and safeguarded by artificial intelligence. If that sounds scary to you, at least the air will be cleaner. Experts project that 7 million electric cars will be produced and on the market by 2020, and that number will shoot up to 100 million by 2050. This dominance of cleaner energy is expected to help reduce worldwide CO2 emissions by 30%. Space Exploration if you're not a fan of these massive changes happening all around us, you can always just move to another planet. The idea of colonizing a far out celestial body may sound too far fetched to some of you, but just consider how far we've come in such a short time. In the second half of the 20th century, for example, we went from being an entirely earthbound species to setting foot on the surface of the moon, to flying man-made machines past the planets of our solar system. Following in the United States footsteps, India will embark on its own manned space mission in 2018. China is launching its first space station in 2022, and Russia and China plan to land on the moon in the 2030s. In the realm of privatized spaceflight, which is a thing, an independent organization will open a space hotel to the super wealthy as early as 2018. SpaceX, an organization run by Elon Musk, also has the exclusivity of wealth attached to its program membership, but with a more exploratory feel, sending cargo to the red planet in 2024. The company's first manned mission to Mars will depart Earth in 2026 and reach the planet in 2027 beating NASA's own plans for a Mars mission by several years. Renewable Energy 
By 2050, half of the Amazon is expected to be deforested, and 70% of the global population will live in cities. So we need to come up with ways to keep the air clean and livable. Outside of abandoning Earth for space, of which some colonies are expected to exist on Mars and the Moon by the mid-21st century, we need an alternative to the polluted present. In the next 20 years, the UK is expected to fully phase out coal, and other countries are following suit. While the United States isn't anticipating a full removal of coal from its power grid, the U.S. Department of Energy conducted a renewable electricity futures study. They found that a combination of electric power, geothermal, hydropower, solar power, wind turbines, and several other methods would make up around 80% of the U.S. power grid over the next 30 years. This shift would reduce CO2 emissions polluting the atmosphere by 80% and wasteful water use by 50%. The exhaustive study, which analyzed the energy usage and resources spent at 100 34 different locations in America gives an accurate view of the country's industry and the commitments needed to create a more efficient and clean future. Augmented Reality as computerized worlds become more visually detailed and video games grow into complex extensions of our real life, The Matrix becomes less and less of a fantasy. Two of the biggest companies in the world, Apple and Google, each host their own augmented reality experiences, and many different companies are following suit. Experts predict that programs like Apple's ARKit, which features the most comprehensive fake world superimposed over the view screen of your iPhone camera, will make smartphones even more a part of your daily routine than they already are. More interactive and prize-based gaming will permeate daily life to the point where many businesses will turn to this fantasy, rewards-based style of gameplay to give employees a certain level of motivation while working on set projects. But beyond unreal adventures, industry analysts predict that by 2050, most if not all of Main Street shopping will be a thing of the past. Online retail will be taken over by three-dimensional virtual reality tours as customers walk through stores while simply wearing special glasses in their home. In the future, stores like IKEA would be able to give you a virtual tour of your living space with their furniture inserted into it. Super Tall Buildings with such a mass exodus expected to flock to the cities, construction and architectural companies will need to resort to new designs to fit all these people within the city limits. By 2050, most buildings would be run by a smart personality like Siri, making it easier for residents to communicate with their landlords and building managers. Super tall buildings will dominate the skylines and serve as cities within cities, as workers create communities in their home lives on various floors, and other floors will be dedicated to recreation and entertainment entertainment, and these buildings will be rapidly constructed thanks to 3D printers, which allow for extra parts to be printed as long as the ingredients they're made of don't run out. Winsun, a company based out of China, was able to 3D print 10 houses in a single day, with electrical wiring and outlets as well as pipes included for plumbing, and they did it all for the insane low price of $5,000 per home. Add that to robotic exoskeleton suits which allow wearers to exert super strength, and construction crews will be able to build entire cities in weeks, let alone months. Thanks for watching these 10 incredible things that will happen before 2050. Now get out there and start making your own incredible things happen before the next video from the hub comes around to blow your mind. We'll see you next time.